Hello everyone. Here I will show you my Bean settings for Haskell programming. So there are a bunch of tools you need to install, and there are uh, I will talk about two more topics. Uh, one is the trap I had during the installation. The other one is how to uh, uh, f format the code on save. So let me first show you uh, how the end result looks like. So if you put in some gibberish, it will tell you there's something wrong here. And also, uh, I have, I have, uh, I said I hooked it up. So whenever I I um, save it, it will format for me. And you can see it will also auto complete and uh, tell you uh, the function signatures. Okay, I hope that's uh, uh, useful for you. So in order to set this up, you need to install CLC, which you can check out from my other video uh, for the Python setup. Then you need to install the Haskell language server. Uh, one easy way is to just brew install. Uh, in my case, I use the GHC app, uh, which is an easy way to set up uh, the whole environment. Uh, you can see it installs stack, the language server, and uh, also the cable. Okay, then you can install the hlint, which is a linting tool from the stack, and then you can install the, the Svim plugin. Um, yeah, okay, I, I will put all this stuff in, uh, in all these links in the uh, description. So after installing all of these, uh, you need to put something in the uh, coc settings.json uh, to hook everything up. I got it from a Reddit uh, post, which is very useful. Uh, it contains more content than the default COC uh, language server configurations. So uh, one trip I have is, uh, one trap I got into is that uh, if you do COC config, uh, it will pull up, uh, let me just do it again. COC config, it will pull up your current COC configuration file. You can see here it's in the .vin folder. And in my case, I thought it's in uh, CO, uh, the .config COC, COC setting.json, and, and that obviously didn't work. Uh, okay, let me also show you my, uh, my Vim RC. So this is the line that automatically saved the uh, uh, reformatted the, the uh, code on save and the next line is for that Vim plugin uh, which is called which way is that uh, it's called Haskell or something yeah it's this one so since I already uh, have that linter uh, the, the reform uh, formatting on save so I turn off the, the indent support uh, for that Vim plugin. Okay, so uh, this is actually very easy to do to set up the whole thing. So basically, as long as you install them successfully and have the uh, a, a few JSON settings in the correct COC config file, everything will work out nicely. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Bye bye.